Hello guys, Solitaire Gamer here, and today I'll be reviewing Ushio and Tora. I saw the first episode of this a while back, but I didn't like it at all. I gave another chance though and watched both seasons for a total of 39 episodes. It was the worst Battle Shonen anime series I had ever seen. You might say, why not drop it then? If I drop it, people will say, well it got better later on. Now I can say for sure that no, it doesn't get better later on. In this anime, the main character Ushio is curious about a locked basement that is in his family's temple. He opens it and discovers a dangerous yokai named Tora that had been stuck in the basement for 500 years. A spear had been pierced through Tora's body to make sure Tora couldn't escape. Ushio soon realized how dangerous this yokai is and plans to leave Tora in the basement. However, because Ushio had opened up the door to the basement, the malice and negative aura that was building up for 500 years is released and attracts a nearby yokai to attack Ushio and his friends. Ushio has no choice but to rely on Tora for help. But when he releases Tora from the spear, Tora doesn't want to help at all. And now that he's free, he plans to eat humans again. Ushio uses a spear that was pierced through Tora's body to force him to listen to his orders. Tora is forced to help Ushio, but he swears he'll get his revenge and eat Ushio one day. I rarely dislike Battle Show anime series. The last one I disliked was Blue Exorcist. And this anime makes Blue Exorcist look like a masterpiece in comparison. I don't care how nostalgic Ushio and Tora is. Even if it gives you that 90s shonen vibe, it just doesn't matter because the characters, the plot, and the fights are terrible in this anime series. I'm going to start off with what went wrong with the fights first. All of the fights are basically Ushio trying to kill yokai by piercing them with his spear. That's all he does. There aren't any special spear techniques that Ushio uses with the spear. He just tries his enemies with it. There's no strategy to fights at all. He just goes around trying to pierce yokai with a spear and doesn't put much thought into it. If he is ever powerless against a yokai, all he has to do is believe in himself or think about his friends that he wants to protect. And when all else fails, the spear will suddenly have a special power that is unlocked out of nowhere and save Ushio. For example, being able to return to Ushio by him trying to call for a spear. Ushio had complete plot armor. Every time he's in danger, a miracle will happen, or he'll use power of termination to overcome everything and win. There's no training arc at all. He doesn't need to train hard to become much stronger. He just needs to believe himself and fight for his friends. There's even cliche scene where Ushio goes on a rampage and people are telling him, you can't defeat evil with hatred. That was such a cliche showing scene. This is everything I hate about Battle Shonen anime series, getting suddenly stronger because of determination to win or because of the power of friendship, just running to fights and have no strategy. The main character going out of control, and that being a bad thing because you can't win with anger or hatred. How can anyone enjoy this? There is no logic to the fights. Rather than show training arcs to help make sense on how Ushio got stronger, he instead got stronger because of his determination and because he wants to protect his friends. How can anyone not get bored at Ushio just trying to use his simple spear to kill yokai over and over? I want to see cool creative attacks. In Bleach, characters may swing swords around, but there are cool sword techniques. I don't want to watch 39 episodes of Ushio just repeatedly attacking enemies with simple spear attacks. The characters in this anime series are absolutely terrible. Ushio is a cliche shown protagonist with a short temper and gets angry so easily. I hate every second I hear his voice and see him lose his cool so quickly. Asuko is the very definition of cliche sundere. And of course, she's the love interest of Ushio. Anime in general loves to put in these annoying Sundari characters as love interests. Every moment she was on screen, she kept yelling at Ushio. Even after she found out about Ushio's secret, she still yelled at him a lot. Even knowing how much risk he put his life in while fighting a yokai. It's bad enough with just one annoying Sundari character, but Ushio is a Sundari as well. I had to watch two annoying Sundari characters yell at each other throughout the series and not be honest with their feelings until near the end of the series. Tora may seem like a cool yokai at first, but his actions contradict his words and so frustrating to watch. He says he wants to eat Ushio, and he had so many good opportunities to catch Ushio off guard and eat him. But he never takes a chance. We have no reason to believe at first that he wasn't serious about eating humans. At the end of the second season, the anime tries to make a reason for that. But I don't buy it. He really did want to eat humans at first. He's not just trying to act tough, but actually like humans. Maybe it was like that later on in the series. But early on, he was serious about eating humans. If the anime was being logical, he would have ate Ushio while he had his guard down at the beach, or just let Ushio get killed off by a yokai in episode 2. 
But the anime can't have that. So they create a dumb reason that Tora can't have Ushio die. Unless he is the one that kills him. That is so dumb. Either try to seriously kill him, or just have a yokai kill him off. He kept saying, I'll kill Ushio. But he was obviously holding back. Just have Ushio die, and then you can be free and eat all the humans you want. Nobody can stop you. They wanted to make Tora be this cliche character that seems evil and selfish, but is a good guy at heart. There is an issue with that though. From what other characters said, he actually was a yokai that ate a lot of humans. There weren't any flashbacks that showed that wasn't the case. If they had made Ushio and Tora's life connected, such as if one person dies, then the other person dies as well, then I can understand why Tora wants to save Ushio. But there is no such thing. Mayuko was the only character I liked in the show with her carefree attitude. The plot for his anime series was very boring to watch. It was episodic episodes of Ushio trying to eliminate yokai that threatened the lives of humans. It was just the same kind of episodes over and over. When there is fine plot development, it seemed like the anime was going to get better with a great villain. But it turns out the villain is a one-dimensional villain that wants to destroy and cause chaos because it is the darkness that must destroy the light. So the yokai and the humans must unite and fight against this terrifying villain. This sort of plot development has been done countless times. I can't believe people are hyping up this one-dimensional villain. The opening and ending songs for this anime series were boring to watch. I skipped over them after watching them once. The music throughout the anime doesn't really get you excited to see the fight scenes. The anime style is nostalgic and reminds you of classic shonen anime series, but that's the only great thing about the series. The animation during fight scenes look good. This anime is a waste of time. It's everything you don't want in a battle show and anime series. Boring weapon attacks, characters winning fights because they're determination to win, or because they're friends. A cliche villain that kills because it's supposed to be evil, and a cliche shown protagonist that gets emotional and angry easily. Not to mention, an annoying Sundari character that has love interests. I give this anime a 3 out of 10. So, that's all I want to talk about for today. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day or night wherever you are, and please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and please comment if you found anything interesting in the video.